Hi, welcome to Look Closer. Today we're going to look at a plant that bears two completely different sets of flowers at different times of the year. Today we're looking at the pea plant Devesia and the parasite Pilostylis. Now one of the most common types of plants we have in our bushlands are the pea plants and they come in all shapes and sizes but they all share a very distinctive type of flower with two petals at the back forming a big semicircle and three petals poking out the front. All right, this is the plant we're chasing. This is a pea plant in the genus Devesia. Devesia's flower across their range from late autumn to early spring. Now I'm here in May, so it's about the middle of that period, but I think I've just missed the best flush of flowers on this individual plant. But there are still flowers around, and they look like this, this bright orange and yellow pea flower in that distinctive pea shape. So far, so good. Pea plant with pea flowers. But if we look further down the stem, we're gonna find all these brown, warty, lumpy looking things. This is what we're chasing down here. These tiny lumps are all that's left of the other flowers that this pea plant bears. These are the remnants of the Pilostylis parasite. And to see these flowers, we're going to have to go back to March when I was here a bit earlier. So let's backtrack a little bit and find out what these looked like a few months ago. Welcome to the past. Now we get to see what those little brown lumps and scars looked like two months earlier. All right, if we look closely, you'll see there's lots of orange lumps where the scars were. All these lumps are the buds of Pilostylis. But if these are the flowers, then where's the rest of the plant? Because we already know that this is a Devesia and it's not the plant that these flowers belong to. Pilostylis actually lives completely inside the stems of its host plant. Doesn't photosynthesize, it's got no roots, no leaves, and it steals all its water and nutrients from its host plant. But we still know that it is a higher plant called an angiosperm or flowering plant because it does produce flowers, fruits, and seeds. You probably can't see it from there, but there's a stack of little native bees flying around this plant, really interested in the Pilostylis flowers. So I'm gonna try and get a couple of photos of these and see what they are. Scientific studies on Pilostylis have found a couple of really interesting things about this plant, aside from the fact that it's an endoparasite. We know that Pilostylis plants come in both male and female sexes, which is something called dioecious unlike a lot of other plants that have both male and female parts. We also know that there's usually one single individual Pilostylis plant per host. But like so many things in science, the more we learn, the more we realise we don't know. For instance, how does the Pilostylis seed get from one host plant to another host plant? There are lots of things that we don't know about this really cool little plant. But for now, I'm just really glad that I was able to find one. And it just goes to show you that if we didn't know that this was a pea plant, and we didn't know what pea plants were supposed to look like, we would never know that these flowers are out of place and that they don't actually belong to this plant. That's all I have for you today, folks. We'll see you next time. There's a little tiny native bee down here that's looking amongst these flowers.